Hi Heritage, Mrs. Hatcher here. I hope you've been enjoying listening to the read alouds. I wanted to share with you a book that reminds me of all God is doing during springtime. All of the new that we get to enjoy. This is The Life of a Butterfly by Robin Bernard. Come on in, join me as we read. What do you see on this milkweed leaf? It looks like a little jelly bean or a dewdrop. But come a little closer and you'll find it's really an egg and something alive is hidden inside. This is how big the egg really is, the size of a dot on your paper. Soon the egg is ready to hatch and its tiny body squiggles and wiggles its way out. Do you know what it is? It's a caterpillar and it's very, very hungry. Right away, the caterpillar eats its eggshell. Then it begins to nibble leaves. It eats and eats, growing bigger and bigger. And as it grows, it changes. Now the caterpillar has velvety stripes. Munch, crunch, the caterpillar is an eating machine. It moves along the milkweed plant, chewing up the leaves. The caterpillar has strong jaws on its head for chewing and 16 legs for holding on to the leaf. When it's about 10 days old, the caterpillar stops eating and it looks for a safe place to rest. This is how big the caterpillar is now, about an inch and a half. Look at that. Yep, looks like the letter J. The caterpillar crawls under a leaf and hangs upside down. Then something amazing happens. The caterpillar begins to change shape. Now watch what God is doing next. The caterpillar has become a chrysalis. And inside the chrysalis, incredible things are happening. It's like a kind of magic show. It's turning the caterpillar into something new. About two weeks later, you can see what's inside the chrysalis. That it's just starting to come out. It pushes and pushes until the chrysalis splits. Ah, <gasps> look, it's a monarch butterfly. Can you see the monarch's wings inside the chrysalis? And just a couple minutes later, the monarch pokes its head out of the chrysalis shell. The butterfly only has six legs now, but it has grown brand new wings. At first, they're wet and crumpled, but slowly the butterfly stretches them out. The monarch hangs onto the shell to stretch its wings. And look, in just 15 minutes, the monarch has broken out of its shell and stretched its new, beautiful wings. The monarch rests and lets its wings dry in the sun. All the velvet stripes are gone now. Instead, the butterfly is covered with tiny scales. Look how long the butterfly is now, four and a half inches. Soon the butterfly can fly. It flutters from flower to flower. The butterfly has a straw-like tube on its head. It pokes the tube into the blossom to sip nectar. Nectar is the butterfly's food. As soon as there is a nip in the air, monarchs do what many birds do. They fly south for the winter. On wings as thin as tissue paper, they can fly across oceans. Thousands of monarchs travel together. These monarchs are resting on a tree in Mexico. When spring comes, the monarchs will fly north again. 
I just love seeing butterflies, don't you? On the way home, a monarch drops something on a milkweed leaf. It looks like a little jelly bean or a dewdrop, but you know what's hidden inside and just what is going to happen. Hey friends, I love seeing butterflies in the springtime. It reminds me of God's creation. It also reminds me of what God says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. He tells us, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Remember, when we have Jesus as our Savior, the old is gone, the new has come. You can share with others the joy of being a new creation in Jesus. You can think of that every time you see the beautiful butterfly. Have a great day, Heritage.